The S2B Connection, or School to Business Connection, is a new partnership program between the Seneca Area Chamber and Downtown Impact, Nimaha Central Schools, and the business community. The purpose of S2B Connections is to build lasting relationships that bridge the gaps between the education and business worlds. With the development and implementation of S2B Connections, the relationships and connections that we already have with our local business and schools will only get better. Our first S2B Connection was held on May 1st with Rainbow Communications. The rest of today's Chamber Chat will feature highlights from that first meeting. If you or your business would like more information on participating in S2B Connections, please contact Kylie Lukeroth or Daryl Coleman. This is, I'm Daryl Coleman, I'm the Superintendent of Schools and Chamber President, which really is how this all kind of came about, is in my crazy mind trying to put the two together. Um, in reality, this really came from the state of Kansas, the State Department of Ed did, for over the last two years, did a whole bunch of uh, studies, they did statewide meetings, bringing in business people, community people, and what, what do you want to see as a successful high school graduate? And, and it was really interesting, the first group that they went to, the first time they went throughout the state, there were some businesses, but then they did three or four that were specifically aimed at businesses. And they, they met with everything from mom and pop, downtown shops, to, if I'm not mistaken, I think, the uh, Koch brothers might have been involved in. I know some of the larger companies in, in Wichita definitely were. And it was amazing that everybody basically came up with some of the same things. And, and we're going to talk about some of those, I'm sure, today. But uh, that got me thinking that I'd like to do that on the local level. And, and again, my connection with the chamber allowed me to do that. So that's where this came from. Our industry changes. Sometimes it changes before we even are able to release a product. Um, by the time we research it, by the time our technicians test it, um, we may not be able to get the same equipment that we started out thinking we were going to use as early as 6, 8, 12 months down the road. So, um, you know, in coming into this environment, what our, our opportunities are for uh, employment, I guess we're kind of, we can kind of move into what, what that looks like as far as employment is. Um, there's a lot of diverse departments, and uh, um, a lot of it, a lot of it, no matter which department you're in, that's kind of an underlining quality that we require from, from everyone that goes to work there is that you have to be adaptable to change um, and you have to be open-minded to what's going to happen you know, with that, with that company because it is pretty fast moving. So, kind of like One thing that hasn't changed through all of this though is ability to communicate. Um, and while communication tools may differ, um, you know, we're sending texts now that we didn't use to send, but the written word, and be able to speak to people. Those, those two core things still mean a lot because uh, especially when you get to an organization that's a little bit larger, a communication breakdown can be huge. And uh, you know, if we don't have good information, good written information, if we're not listening to a customer what their needs are at the front line, we don't get that passed on correctly to the technician, we don't get that passed on correctly to the sales staff, we don't get that passed on correctly internally. And when we you know, we have our conflict points, it's always a communication point. It's not a it's not a technical point as much as it is a communication point. We got pretty good at dealing with technical issues, but usually it's a communication issue. So when you talk about soft skills, even though the technology changes how we communicate, it doesn't take away from the message. And so we want to give a very special thank you to Rainbow Communications for being our first S2B connection, and we hope you all join us next week on the Chamber Chat.